there's a show on CBS called The Activist. It was announced to great fanfare and the producers were very proud of it. It starred Usher and it starred Julianne Huff and it starred um, Priyanka Chopra Jonas. And it was a competition style show about activism, a shiny floor show as it's called. And they were gonna have activists compete against each other to kind of get this spot at the G20 where they can go and celebrate and I don't know, high five dignitaries. But everyone had such a huge outrage, had such huge outrage about it because they were turning activism and philanthropy into a competition. That CBS and Global Citizen, the producer of the show, have jointly announced that they are utterly changing the format because so many people pointed out how ridiculous it sounded. So from the statement itself, global activism centers on collaboration and cooperation, not competition. We apologize to the activists, hosts, and the larger activist community. We got it wrong. It is our responsibility to use this platform in the most effective way to realize change and elevate the incredible activists dedicating their lives to progress all around the world. In the extended statement, they say the activist was designed to show a wide audience the passion, long hours, and ingenuity that activists put into changing the world, hopefully inspiring others to do the same. However, it has become apparent that the format of the show has announced uh, of the show as announced distracts from the vital work these incredible activists do in their communities every day. This push for global change is not a competition and requires a global effort. As a result, we are changing the format to remove the competitive element and reimagine the concept into prime time. Documentary special air date to be announced because we have to do a lot more work now. It will showcase the tireless work of six activists and the impact that they have advocating for the causes they deeply believe in. Each activist will be awarded a cash grant for the organization of their choice as was planned for the original show. So with all of those statements, the thousand words that they had to upload in JPEG form because it wouldn't fit. What do you think Jordan as an activist yourself? Um, I think not, and not just my perspective. What I saw on listservs and in, in, in organ uh, organ organizations and other circles, when this show was announced, there was a collective like knee jerk reaction because people widely felt this completely missed the mark. The way they approached it from this top down G20 approach, which is more about like pomp and circumstance, and results in you know lofty goals and initiatives without any real. Uh, uh, ideas or effort to implement these changes, and a lot of change happens at the ground level. So across the board, and then not to mention the original concept for the show was to determine a winner based on likes and shares and performance of social posts. Which, like, look, I'm telling you, that's it's not how things happen. It's a lot of like thankless work. It's a lot of uh, work on the ground. It's a lot of unseen, unflattering, like grimy. Uh, you know, circumstances, but that's how change happens on the local level. And that people without a real history of activism or organizing or the judges uh, showed this was more of a ratings play than anything else. Uh, this, this type of corporate social responsibility that a lot of big entities love to employ when convenient without like, you know, distancing themselves from or, or, or cutting off donations to uh, Republicans in Congress. Uh, or or right wing uh, politicians around the world who you know protect or implement or further these policies that are globally destructive. So if you actually wanted to do that, make a commitment to cut out corporate spending, make a commitment to cut off lobbying to Republicans who, while well, they might further your your hopes and dreams on like you know a more entertainment front, uh, also do the bidding of of polluters around the world. Make it uh, make it apparent in everything that you do. That this is actually what you believe. Otherwise, it's just a cynical ratings play. Absolutely. And just from an in, so as a producer, producing this as a documentary special is going to raise their budget by a gajillion dollars. You have to send people out there. And now, now you have to voiceovers. It's not just like, we'll get this building. Um, you will you will get the you know we'll do it week in week out maybe they had shot it all together as one but like it is a completely different show where you need a completely different skill set and 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 whatnot to make it happen and then also just 
there's so many statements coming out from the hosts that are, wow, I didn't know that philanthropy took so much work. I thought I would just be at a dinner where people give me cool food and let me meet cool people. And then I cut a check um, because they've danced for me enough. It inadvertently shows how difficult it is to do this kind of, of activism. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.